This is a tutorial in how to paint a spider web. And when I say paint a spider web, spray paint a spider web, I really mean spray paint a spider web. So I tried with two things. Um, first, I tried with neon hairspray because I was just curious if that would work and if that would combine with spray paint. And it did, it worked fine. Uh, the only thing was that um, it wasn't as, as really bright and strong as the spray paint. So what I've discovered is that the paint you use is really, really important and the angle that you use is really important. Now what I'm doing here is there's an actual spider web in the door of my studio. And this, I don't like spiders in my doorway. I can't walk through a spider web. So I feel like I have the right to get rid of these spider webs. I never kill the spiders. I chase them away, but I do paint the webs. And these are orb spider webs, they're really cool. So what I'm doing here is I'm spraying at this spider web. You can kind of see it sometimes. Um, and then I have a piece of poster board which I've painted black. And all I'm doing is kind of capturing the spider web on that piece of poster board. I'm just, I just touch it to the spider web, you know, as flat as I can. And then the spider web sticks to the poster board. I mean, it's got sticky paint on it. And there it is painted with like all the neon hairsprays and stuff. And now I'm going to try it with um, real spray paint. I'm going to use uh, some Montana water-based paint. Um, here's glossy varnish. Just, you see when you, you seal it with the glossy varnish, this hairspray stuff kind of dissolves a little bit. So that's not going to work. But it's a cool start. So the next day, there was another spider web in my doorway. And this time I had to chase the spider away with a ruler. So you'll see that. And I'm going to get a really sharp version. So there's the orb spider. I'm going to chase them away. And what I'm going to use is Montana water-based uh, 300 white this time. And what I've discovered is that the trick to really getting a nice bright spider web is first of all, starting with white, starting with a bright color and spraying not from the front like I'm doing here, but spraying from the side. Because if you spray from one side and then from the other side, you actually get more spray onto the spider web and you, uh, you waste less. So you want to use a nice bright color and spray from the sides and just keep spraying until you can actually see the spider web in the air. Um, now, if you don't have that particular brand of spray paint, um, you can use the hairspray stuff, but I totally recommend using white first because that seems to make it brighter. Um, or, you know, try some different brands of spray paint. What you want is a lot of stuff to cling to the spider web. You want a thick, you know, really high pigment spray paint. You don't want a watery spray paint because that's not going to work. Like Krylon is pretty watery. You want a you want a fairly dry, uh, you know, paint with a lot of pigment, really opaque. And here I'm spraying from the side, and you can see that that spider web is appearing just so much more clearly when I'm spraying from the side because I'm actually getting it on a whole lot more of the spider web. I get I go through a lot more of it when I spray from one side and then I spray from the other, so you can actually see it now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my my black piece of paper. I'll use the same one, and look how powerfully defined that is. I come up from behind the spider web and there I've got it. Oh my god, I could have spent hours painting that spider web. <laughs> but I got rid of this uh, web that was in my doorway and now I can go into my studio. Thank goodness. And that looks way cool. And I can use it for a Halloween painting. So Halloween's coming. Make some spider web paintings and let me know how it goes. You can get a free spray paint art lesson at spraypaintartsecrets.com and you can also sign up to be a member and get our amazing monthly video spray paint art lesson tutorials. If you have questions, my name is Elisa Amore and my email is spraypaintartsecrets at gmail.com. See you inside. Ciao.